Hello everyone, welcome back to Spiritual Essence. Today's episode is going to be about casting a camouflage spell. A camouflage spell can make you blend in with your surroundings and not be noticed by someone. It really helps in case, uh, let's say you're playing hide and seek and you really don't want to be found. I have used this before when doing that. Yeah, me and my friends at this age one time we did play a game of hide and go seek and I was right in the middle of like, we were at this playground at the park. I was on this playground and all I did was I tucked my arms into my coat. I crouched down and I put my hood up and I put my head down. They went right past me, even though I was right there on the ground. Anybody could have noticed me. But I was really focused on doing this spell. And then all of a sudden, I I heard them say, Okay, everyone's been found except Colton. Where is he? And they're like, Well, we thought you found him. No, no, I didn't find him. Did you find him? No, we didn't find him. And then I, and they're like, Okay, you win, Colton. And then I, I come out and I'm like, Yeah, I was right here. And he's like, I didn't even notice you. Yes! I was really like that. I was like, yes! Another... A uh, way I've used this is uh, back in school, uh, back in high school, when I really wasn't the type, I'm sure a lot of people are like this, they really didn't want to answer questions. I didn't want to answer any questions, especially for a lot of the subjects where I didn't give two hoots about. I really didn't want to be called on. And most of the time, it worked. It didn't work all the time, but it worked most of the time, which is good enough for me. Especially since I've been out of school for years. I'm good now. So, it really can help. Now, if you're like the only person in a room, it's going to be hard to hide from someone, you know? So, it's not going to work unless there's more than one people around you. Now, in the case for uh, when I played hide-and-seek with my friends, if there's other things around you, other solid material, there is a chance you can use this to blend in with those so that they can go right past you. But once they noticed your presence, the spell's kind of shot. So, But keep working on this because this could have so many capabilities. Now, I know this is a bit much. It's a bit out there. But... Imagine if we were to develop this ability, this spell. We could possibly come up with invisibility. And I'm dead serious about this. I, I'm not making no jokes. I do believe this is possible. And this might be the building blocks. Some people are like, oh, that doesn't exist. Oh, you're crazy. Okay, I'm crazy. But there are people who believe in it. I know I'm not the only one. We can do this. I believe there's a possibility to do this. So if you guys believe, let's continue on with the spell, shall we? Now, even though I call this a spell, it doesn't really require any magic words. All it requires is two things. Focus, as most spells do, and intent. Your will to do something. Your intention. It needs to be real focused. So, <clears throat> let's say, for example, you're in at a party. Because when I did this, I remember back at um, my ex's party, it was a Halloween party. I was with a bunch of people I didn't know. Um, it was Halloween, so it was real cold and started to rain. So, uh, near the garage, there was like a bonfire and there was a bunch of people around. Occasionally, I would talk to them, but they mostly kept to themselves. And <clears throat> he was dealing with a bunch of other stuff. And uh, I had my hood on because I was an assassin from Assassin's Creed. That was my costume, as best as I could do. And... I remember him trying to look for me, and I stood still, and I focused. I really focused on being invisible. He looked right at me, at 
me wearing my coat and my hood, he knew what color it was. And he's like, hey, has anyone seen Colton? Anyone seen Colton? And everyone's like, no, no, we haven't. He moved right past me. And then eventually I was like, hey. And he's like, hey, where were you? And I'm like, I was right in front of you. He's like, you're good at blending in. I'm like, I'm an assassin after all. <laughs> so that kind of was fun. But anyway, let's just say you're in a setting like that where you're surrounded by a bunch of people. And you don't want to be noticed maybe by maybe an ex or maybe um, someone you really don't want to be noticed by, someone who you don't really get along with, something like that. So, uh, I would suggest, you know, putting your hands together. It can be like this, or it can be like this. And you don't have to close your eyes, but if you want to, go right ahead. Now, envision, in the center of your chest, a light in the center of your heart. If you guys are well familiar with my channel, and you watched from the very beginning, you will know this technique that I told you. So, make the light go from your heart and see it as a sphere, a sphere of colorful light. It can be any color you want. Focus in on this. Make it more dense. Make it as dense as you can. Keep putting energy into it. Just keep focusing on it. And it's spinning. It's spinning any direction. It's just spinning, you know. It's spinning around and around and around. And keep adding energy to it. Keep adding detail to it in your mind. Eventually, it's going to look so real. You think it's a physical object because you can see it in your mind's eye, your third eye, right in the center here. And it's going to be powerful. You're going to feel it in the center of your chest. Now, don't worry. It's not a painful feeling. It's actually a more energized feeling. You might feel a slight pressure in the chest, but it's not really like like if someone were like pressing down on your chest. It's not like that. It's, it's a light pressure, but it doesn't hurt. So if you're worried about that, don't be. Now, with your intent, a command from your mind, imagine it go bigger and bigger and bigger till it's around you, it's surrounding you. Now, really focus in on generating this energy outward and until it surrounds you like a force field. Now, see this ball of energy that now surrounds you turn into like a mirror where it it takes all light and all the light bounces off of it and make it almost like a reflective kind of surface like a mirror and see yourself as being completely invisible to everyone else and keep focusing in on this. Keep focusing. Keep focusing this energy. Basically, you're taking a chi ball and you're giving it a, like a responsibility. You're giving it a command. And you're using it for a practical purpose. This is just one of many uh, things you can do with it, which I will go over later on in my channel. I'll show you all kinds of techniques. But right now, we're focusing on the spell at hand. And just keep focusing. Now, as I said, it doesn't require any magic words, but if you want to say some words, okay, that, that is your thing. But make sure that the words are words of power. Make sure you give the words energy. They're heartfelt. You, you're not just saying them to say them. You're saying them because you feel it in your heart. You really like it. You really love it. You really believe in it. And you may notice some people, even though they're looking right at, at you, almost like they're looking right past you. They'll be looking like here or here. Now, if it doesn't work at first, okay. It didn't work at first for me either. Keep focusing. This is an incredible spell. And it will work in time. If it doesn't work immediately, keep trying. Keep focusing on this energy around you. And you will feel this energy. It will be generating outside of your heart. It will feel like an incredible feeling. An, almost like an, a magical discharge. Almost like a staticky feeling. You will start to feel yourself vibrate. And you will feel the energy around you. I remember showing a friend of mine about how to send energy around you. And he knew I was there, so the 
the spell wouldn't work on him because he knew I was there. I was talking to him. He would know that I'm there. Therefore, the spell would be useless. But I, I went like this. I closed my eyes and I really focused on generating the energy around me. And he's like, Colton, what, what's going on? And I'm like, what? He's like, I, I almost saw like everything around you kind of blur and kind of vibrate, almost like if you were to see heat. You know, if you guys, uh, if you see heat in the distance and it looks like it's shaky and everything looks like wobbly and blurred. He's like, I saw that around you. And I'm like, I'll take your word for it. And uh, before anyone's like, oh, he could have been just lying to you. It's possible. But I really trusted this friend. He would not lie to me. I really put a lot of trust in him. So I did believe him. And uh, it wasn't because of that that I believed it worked. It was because I felt it. I knew it was there. I could feel it all over my body. Keep this ability up as long as you can. And I often express that if you get exhausted from focusing and, you know, let's say you're starting to get a headache or maybe you're feeling a little drained of energy, stop. Just stop the technique and relax. Take a break. Eat something, drink something, and then go back and do it again. Just as if you were to go to the gym and you really want to lift weights but you know after a while your arms start to get real sore and you're like oh I can't do this anymore you could try to push on but it's not really gonna help you because you're gonna be in pain and you're not gonna want to do it as much and then you could risk hurting yourself and not doing it for a while and then you lose the momentum so just it's like exercising your spiritual muscles Take frequent breaks, do as much as you can, and then take another break. And eventually, you won't have to take as many breaks because you'll be used to it. You will have fully exercised your spiritual muscle. So continue to do this. Continue to see this energy around you. Continue to see its reflective properties around you. And take note of people's reactions. And as I said, if it doesn't work, try again later. Just don't get discouraged. Being discouraged will sabotage your chances of being able to do it the next time. You can't just do it once and then it doesn't work and then you're like, oh, this is just a bunch of baloney. You know, you don't know what I'm talking about. I can't do this. Those are things that are going to sabotage you. So just stop, take a break, try it again later. Now, once you have, uh, you're done with the technique or the spell, envision this ball of energy shrinking down, and it's shrinking all the way back into your heart until it's the um, side ball again, and then it will dissipate, and that's the end. And then, of course, when you want to go back and try it again, just restart the process over again. And eventually, it will be like second nature. All you'll have to do is think about it. It'll be there. You can make it grow. You can make it shrink. You can make it strong. You can make it light. You'll be able to manipulate it more. Now, I know this is a very short video, but it is a simple technique that anyone can do. It really just takes will and focus. That's all you need. And if it doesn't work, stop, take a break, try it again. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, don't forget to hit the bell button so you don't miss any of my future videos. And share this with as many people as you can. I want to get this information out there to people who could really use it. Thank you so much. May your spiritual path be one of love and light, compassion, and wellness.